the Palo Alto Network's Cortex-XDR Investigation and Response Content Pack can help you reduce your mean time to detect, respond, and remediate XDR incidents. Cortex-XOR can help your analysts to standardize and automate the processes that they use to respond to incidents in your environment today. The incident types and playbooks included in this pack assist with the general response to XDR incidents, as well as the specialized use cases of disconnected endpoints, port scans, and device control violations. The response action playbooks, such as blocking files and isolating hosts, can be used during the course of response and remediation to incidents. The IOC integration allows for the synchronization of indicators between the XOR and XDR platform for adding additional context during the course of investigations. The XQL integration allows for XOR playbooks to request additional data from the XDR platform. After you've installed the pack, you can get started by configuring the investigation and response integration. When you add an instance, you can select the default classifier as well as the default incoming and outgoing mappers. If you'd like to enable mirroring between the platforms, you can also do so here. You should then configure the other credentials server URL to suit your needs. If we take a look at an incident after it's been ingested, we can see the default XDR layout that's provided by the content pack. Here we can see things like the number of affected hosts and users, as well as the related alerts and their severity. If we click on the investigation tab, we can see some of the details around the XDR alerts, file artifacts, network artifacts, as well as any user accounts associated with this particular incident, and any of the indicators that have been extracted from the incident data. The main incident handling playbook initially grabs all the extra incident data from XDR and then finds similar incidents within the XOR platform. If similar incidents are found, we can link them together and then potentially close them as a duplicate. Here we can also check things such as device control violations, entity enrichments across AD servers, et cetera, hunt for related IOCs using the Palo Alto Network's hunting and threat detection sub playbook. And with all this information collected, we can then calculate an overall severity for this incident. The analyst is then prompted to review all the details that have been collected and determine if this is actually a false positive or if we should continue on with the investigation. If we continue down the remediation branch, we can see that it's possible to auto-remediate and block any of the known bad indicators that were extracted. We can also block any potential bad ports. And if there are any unhandled alerts, we can handle those as well before the investigation is closed out, both in the XDR platform and within XOR. Well, that's all for the demo. Please check out the additional resources on xor.pan.dev as well as paloaltonetworks.com.